All right, what's up guys? It's that time again. It's Sean Land from the Land of Fitness. I'm with my good buddy here, my coach, Marcus Haley. What's up? All right, IFBB pro Marcus Haley has competed with some of the best of them. Now he's competing with one of the best right here. <laughs> no, just kidding. We're gonna go through a shoulder day, all right? We're gonna, he's gonna show me how to get these motherfucking giant blasted ass shoulders. Look at that. Look at that shit, all right? So he's gonna show you some secrets. All right, the other thing we're gonna be focusing on today, especially with shoulders, is how to work out smart. All right, going in the gym, you see me lifting crazy weight all the time. I'm not always doing it with the best form. So Marcus is gonna show us how to do it safe, effective, so you can have a long, awesome career of being swole, injury free. All right, you ready to do this, bro? Ready to do it, man. Fucking do it, yeah. Let's yeah. go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just warm up the shoulders. One thing that I found out is, um, you know, early in my career when I was young, you know, I like to go crazy with the weights without warming up. And what happened is I started losing mobility and flexibility, and in turn, that increased my uh, injuries. All right, so we're gonna get here in the rear delts. Um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna sit facing the pad. Um, I like to get the pad a little bit up here lower, just so I can get some uh, range of motion. So I like to sit down here. I like to lean into the pad like this so I can engage the rear delt. And all we're gonna do really Start off nice and easy, like this. Just coming back and back here, getting a good contraction, good range of motion. And all we're doing is try to engage the rear delt. We'll get about 15 to 20 reps. All I'm trying to do right now is get things warm, get the blood flowing before we destroy these bad boys. You gotta make every set count, every rep count understand your form. It's so easy to get into injuries, and I wish I would've knew that when I was younger, just going crazy, you know, wild. You like going, Marcus, you like facing it, or you like going this way? I go both ways. Okay. Oh, you you don't get both ways. You hear that, guys? I gotta go both ways. <laughs> don't, tell my, don't tell my wife that shit, though. <laughs> don't tell her. So with this one, it's just a, your typical shoulder press. You just want to get good deep contractions. You just push it up. Oh, you know, this is just a basic compound movement. This is what I like to do to use my heavy stuff to put as much tension on the shoulders as I possibly can. I like to go down right, right at that ear level. Ear level. You know, level. I feel like going anywhere past yeah. puts a lot of stress sure. on the socket, on the joint. I figure this way, I'm real safe and it's a nice, safe, effective range and I'm still stimulating all the muscle fibers in the shoulder. Yep. Yes! One more. Oh, come on. Yes! We're gonna go time under tension. I learned this from one of my best friends, Dennis James. And this is just creating time under tension these are slow control reps with a pause at the end and you're having time, you're creating time that you're gonna be in that contracted position. Doesn't take a lot of weight, you go to lightweight, but it makes a massive, massive difference. It's a great way to burn out the shoulders. So I'll show you what we're doing. Let's take two off. Hold it for about a five second hole. Right there. Up. I just I started just a little bit. Not gonna lie. Come on, man. Uh, come on. Up. It doesn't take much weight. It's all about, we're trying to build muscle endurance. Muscle endurance creates size, size creates strength. But what you don't want to do is get into a habit of making the momentum. So try to concentrate when you come up, 
control the downward motion. So it's boom, boom, controlling that downward motion. So we can put emphasis on the shoulders and you're not using your traps and your back to move it up. But you just wanna to try to be real mindful of that. We're using a seated row V-bar for a front depth movement. This is a great movement. He's shooting the shoulders up in this direction. And it's just a great to put all the tension right here on the front bowling balls. Let's get after it. Yes, yes, yes. One, you'll see a lot of bodyboards like myself. If you look at it from, from this side view, you'll see that I have a tendency to do this. And that's because the pec muscles in the front delts are so tight that it's making me pull this way. So, so get, stretching, getting some, some mobility back in the shoulders, but also training the rear delts, you'll pull that muscle, because this is how I should look like this. I look like this. So a lot of time when you guys are doing shoulder movements, just do this. Take your time, take your shoulders, roll them back and set them in, in the sockets. So here is where they are. A lot of guys just go like this, right? So roll the shoulders back, set them in the socket, and then go. And all you're doing is just leaning forward. It's all on those fronts. So take your body, yes, and lean it out like that. Now do it. Yeah, you got them long ass arms. So if you seven foot tall like Sean, you might have to use your arms like this. Put the tension on the shoulders. You'll see it here, shoulders. Here, chest. Shoulders, chest. He almost got fucked up. There we go. That's it. Stay in it, brother. Stay in it. I got you. Stay in it. Give me five more. So basically, that's kind of an overview of what I do. We started with a big compound movement. Then we got over to some flies. We started burning out the muscle. Then what we did, once we got the muscle burnt out over there, we went over with some front movements with the front pushes with the seated row bar. And then what we did then was we finished, so we took the fly machine, bent the body over, and put all the emphasis on the front delt. And we used some time under tension. We used some big power set movements. So you can apply these principles to every aspect of your workout, whether it be chest, arms, back, shoulders. Um, time under tension is a great, great way to really pre-exhaust the muscle. So towards the end of it, you got nothing left. Coming from my standpoint or anybody else that's injured, I would say time under tension is a great way to work around injuries. Yeah. So, thanks again, Marcus. Yeah, no problem, man. They'll be back. Marcus will be back. The chocolate pop will return. <laughs>